great time last night watching Captain Spaulding's uh, Thunderdome stream. It was great. I'm uh, going to be checking that out more. You should really go and check it out too. Captain Spaulding's on twitch.tv. Um, I'm going to put his link in the uh, description for this video because it was cool. Okay, so now we're in the shop and I'm just going to pick something which I've got loads of. So, for giggles, let's go for ice crystal. I don't even know if you can do that, but we're just going to use it as an example. So I'm going to go and find ice crystal. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. We're going to be sort of like alchemists here. I'm going to create uh, create diamonds. Okay, so ice crystal. Okay. There it is. Now I need 10,000 items of that type to buy uh, a recipe. So I'm going to buy one. And it says 10,000 ice blocks to, to buy the recipe. So I'm going to say OK. Now I'm actually going to buy four of these. And you can see I've got, you know, you're going to need 40,000 or 20,000 if the server requirement is 5,000. So regardless, you just get a load of ice crystal instead of selling it. Or any item really, it doesn't matter. It could be hull, it could be plex storages, it could be anything. you just got to have more than, you know, a certain amount. It will say when you try to buy the recipe. So now I have four recipes. I'm going to go into my inventory. And as you can see here, if I right click, Okay, so let's see, we've got two negocide, two Cenomite, two Extranium. That's pretty cheap, actually. So we're just going to check out which one is the cheapest. Two negocide, five Succumite. That's easier because you don't have to find so many different ingredients. Four, seven Succumite, four Vaposide. And these are all L1s, too. So they're, these are all decent. Nine Negagate, four Exogen. Right. I don't know which ones are the rarest. But I would say, because that's a total requirement six, that's a total requirement of seven, that's a total requirement, oh, that's not very good, okay, and that's probably the worst one. Okay, so, uh, just looking at that now, um, I reckon this is actually the best one, because it only requires two L1s and five L1s, and I know Succubite is easy to find. So, the rest of them either have quite a high requirement, so not as efficient, or they require too many different parts. Like, this is actually a really good one, but it needs, you know, what if I can't find any negocide? I've got loads of cenomite, loads of extranium, no negocide. So, I would say I'm going to go with this one. Now, this is the point that I wanted to show you. If you just drag this back into the cell, you'll get the 10k items back. Okay, so then we've got the one that we wanted. And in, pe and in theory, we could go in here and we could buy another three, because we don't lose anything. I mean, I, I reckon it would probably be a good idea if there was a sort of slight percentage loss to stop you doing this, because it's a, in a way, it's a bit of an exploit, because you will never get a bad recipe, because you'll just come in here and exchange them until you get a good one. So let's just see what we've got this time. That one's worse. That one's two and four. So that's actually slightly better. So we've, you know, we've 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 already found, we've found two that are slightly better. Two and four L ones: Quantanium, Extranium, Quantaside, Extranium. So I think this system's great because you know it sort of gives you a bit of a chance here, but uh, you won't, you will end up not having to collect anything because um, you'll never get a bad one basically. Because look, you can just exchange it and just repeat this process until you find one that is decent. Two quantified, two extranium, two. So, so I mean, I could keep either of those. Those, those are good. And you'd say, well, why would you wanna? Why, why would you wanna turn uh, quantitanium and extranium into ice crystal? Well, I'll show you in the shop. So if we just go and find quantanium in the minerals. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Right, quantanium L1 is 20 per unit. Okay. Where are we? Oops, spinning a little bit. Quantanium L1 too, so that means the total cost. So it's quantanium, yeah, and extranium. So that's going to cost 40. Now let's find extranium. Where are we? Extranium. Oh, great, I can't even find it. Maybe you can't buy it. Can you not buy extranium in the store? I've never really looked for it, see? I'm just trying to get a price. Extranium L1 is 20, so that means it's going to cost you what? <laughs> it's going to cost you 80 and 20, and so it's going to cost 120 to create a block of ice, and we know that the ice value is, I think, a thousand. Where is it? Ice crystal. 
1004. So, you know, it's just cost you 120 to create a factory line with one input block that will create crystal from common ores. So, you know, you can get 10 times your money out of that production line. That's not a bad little production line. Like, I'll just set it up real quick so you can see. I mean, you, you don't need to do all this fancy business, which I've been doing. That's just sort of a style I'm going for. All you need to do is put that down. Uh, whack the recipe in there. So I think it was that one, Quantaside. No, it was Contanium Extranium, I think we went for. But anyway, you whack that in there, and then you whack the ore in, and that will just start producing. That will just start producing crystal. So, you know, it's a great little system, uh, you've got to sort of learn it, but it's a lot easier than the old system was. It doesn't make the wrong stuff anymore, which is brilliant. I'm like praising the devs for this. Um, I, I was sort of hoping that there'd be a little bit more strict hit and miss with the, you know, if you find a really poor efficiency blueprint, I was hoping that, you know, um, you wouldn't be able to just get out of it, you know. Um, just by trading it in. I, I was hoping that there would have to be a little bit of grind involved there. But um, I swear, what's this? Oh yeah, by the way, um, you see that my giant ship over there? Um, <laughs> basically I put a Bobby AI in both of the... because I got fed up with the pirates and so I took two capital ships, <laughs> the one that used to be parked here and the one that was damaged beforehand and uh, put Bobby AI units in them and so now when the pirates get anywhere near me I don't I don't <laughs> they just get they get whomped not by this is my current ship which is all Bobby AI'd up to the max but not for flight just for the turrets where is it where are they see it's hard to find them because they there is one thing which I would like to say about the Bobby AI ship mode I'd like there to be a range because they, they love to f just fly off on their own and then you don't see them. I don't know if maybe they do stay in the right sector. But look at these guys. They're fighting. <laughs> what are you doing? Look, he's got a hole in him. He's got no weapon system, that one. <laughs> see, I think it's a bit of a bug. I put a Bobby AI on it, activated it, and then deleted it. And um, even though it's because I realized it had no weapon system. Look! <laughs> he's just scooped him up. <laughs> Look, this guy's just, he's just harassing him. He's got no weapons at all. He's just bumping him out the sector and, like, eating him up with the hollows. <laughs> Where'd the other one go? That's what I want to know. See, there's all these pirates and they're not getting anywhere near me because, there it is, USS Migraine Trigger 678. Migraine Trigger 8. Let's go and find out which one that is. It can't be the battered up one, surely. It is. That's the battered one. So if that's the battered one, where's the other one at? There's another one somewhere which has got a functioning weapon system and I, I've i lost it. Like I say, this is what I was saying about them running away. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, I've lost my... Oh no! That's not the way you want to go. There's a pirate fortress there. Where'd that come from? Where's my base? Help! I've lost my cockpit. <laughs> Oh, bother. Right. Come on. Where's my... Yes! Aim for my turrets. Go. Quick. Run. <laughs> I didn't realise my base was so close to pirates. So, um... Survey the damage. Did they just take my camera and that was it? Yeah, they just took my camera out. <laughs> That's annoying. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, if I was to press N now, where is it? MT9, was it? No, it would have been MTXV2. That's the one I'm f flying right now. Lots of turrets. Unnamed Trek ship, no. Mighty Face Meltar. Wow, see, that's what I'm saying. It's just gone. Um... It's somewhere in the universe. I think I could probably locate it using my um, using admin commands or the star moat, or whatever, or whatever it's star tool or whatever it was called. Um, yeah, it's gone. 
it's just gone. There's a drone. There's a boat out there somewhere. I've lost him. Oh well. So anyway, um, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope that sort of the first part of the video at least helped you with the factories, the new factories. I've got a couple of tips in there. I'll probably come back to that actually once I've uh, been using it a little bit more. But um, for for what I for what I use it for, that's that's how I'm going to use it. So um, just for but those reinforced hulls are real cheap, so I'm going to have to refit my ship with that. Uh, dock up, please. Oh God, that's the roof. Oh God, no. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's all good. So, thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. See ya. Yeah.